What can you do with a $99 tablet uh, computer? This happens to be a, a WinBook, $99, got it at uh, Micro Center. It only has 16 gig of RAM on it, but it hasn't been a problem yet. Uh, anyways, you can use it as a tablet. You can uh, get an optional keyboard. This one here I paid uh, $49 for. It's Bluetooth. You can get an optional mouse. I think I paid $19 for the Bluetooth Hewlett Packard mouse. You can get a uh, connector, a cable. Down here at the end I have a cable connector that's plugged into the HDMI. And then you can run it on your on your computer. Or sorry, you can run it on your TV. Uh, if you have an HDMI in on your TV. So from sitting here on the couch, I can move windows from the tablet. If you see me moving the window with my mouse, this is one screen and the TV is the second screen. We can set it up so the TV is the only screen or the tablet is the only screen. And then we can also set it up so the, uh, you see a copy of what I'm doing on the screen on the tablet. So this is moving back and forth here. I don't know if I can zoom out far enough on my on my uh, video camera. So anyways, you move the window here and when you drag it over to the other side, it comes out on the TV. So pretty cool. Um, I've loaded a couple of things on here. Um, uh, and it's generally pretty good. This is a 7-inch monitor, so I'll show you an example. I can basically put this in my pants, my pants pocket. It'll slide in there. It's a little annoying, but it's not too bad. And then it's got a little case that I purchased for, I think, $12 more. Uh, if I want to go into the touch screen, you know, I can fool around with it here. And it's uh, running Windows 8.1, which is the, uh, you can see me in the reflection there, hello. But uh, it's running Windows 8.1, and uh, they call it the Bing edition, but uh, that shouldn't stop you from downloading Google if you want to use Google instead of Bing. So far, I haven't had much of a problem. You know, very responsive. Uh, really, actually, it's very responsive. Considering it's a $99 uh, computer, it has uh, the full version of Windows, so you can load any Windows program. It's a little hard to do uh, Windows with your fingers, so you can get a stylus for that, or you can pick up the optional Bluetooth mouse. Uh, one of the things I wasn't sure is, you know, I want to sit on the train and maybe write some code, so I downloaded uh, the free version of uh, Microsoft. Um, this is uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Express for Windows and I can actually write code and I can write code on the train or something like that. I can click there on the box. If I didn't have my keyboard handy I can click down here. You know, well, there you can see it on the screen up there. <laughs> It's coming up on the other screen, but you can get the keyboard to pop up. We'll slide that over. And then I can key in with my thumb. Now it's a little bit small right now, but I can get it to be bigger. I can key in, you know, things that I want to work on. Uh, I was also in a class, or was a... Uh, at a lecture and I opened up an Excel or opened up a Microsoft Word uh, application and then I turned on the, the uh, audio recorder so I could record the audio. Let me shrink this down and we'll close that. But you can re record the audio again you just go over here type in audio Sound, actually recorder, I think is what we type in. Sound recorder. So you run the sound recorder, turn it on, and then you can uh, open up uh, Notepad. Uh, did I 
type it wrong. Not bad. You can take notes. Uh, where did the notepad go? It's not there. It's a perfect demo. I problem sometimes with your finger is it's too wide. Notepad. We'll click it with the mouse here. There it is. So you can turn on the screen recorder. Have the notepad running, and you can even come in here. And uh, let's go to uh, run some sort of an app. Uh, you could use OneNote too. Actually, I could have done OneNote with notes. Actually, I'm not going to get started with it. Uh, yeah, we can surf the internet. We can uh, news here. We can have news on. So wait for that to come up. Then I'll go back to uh, my desktop. And now I can pull this out. I got news there. So I could, you know, have the news be scrolling while I'm taking notes. And again, I can pop up the keyboard or I can use the secondary keyboard. If I was on, you know, I didn't have a keyboard with me, I could watch, watch news scroll through the list there. And then when I want to take notes, I can just type them in. This happens to be the thumb keyboard. If we click down here, we can choose the standard keyboard, the thumb keyboard. <coughs> if we have a stylus, we can write. It'll probably convert it to an I. Yeah, and then we can insert it. And the I is inserted up there. Uh, or we have a standard keyboard, which is a little bit smaller on the 7 inch monitor. But if I want to get, sometimes I want to do the up and down arrows. And I don't have a mouse handy, so that's an option that's on there as well. And then you can hide the keyboard. Okay, so anyways, this is some of the cool things that you can do.